would the angels do this to us? What are you saying? This is obviously a demon's work. Who's this? I'm Bryson. I was trapped in the cellar until Hadrig rescued me. Ha! Huh. And now he won't go away. Well, you saved his life. Perhaps he's grateful. I am. In fact, I'm going to repay Hadrig by helping him. And I told you to stay away from my forge. Is there anything on your mind, Hadrig? I was thinking about my master. He took me in after we escaped my father's manor in Chaldeum. I can't say I was the best apprentice, a noble boy with soft hands, but I wanted to learn. I didn't have anything else. Sounds like another lad I know. You mean Bryson? Oh, I was never that bad. I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other. But they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now it's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. I know who was responsible for this. It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. You ask who's to blame for this doom? All of Westmarch, reveling in sin, worshipping petty idols. The Zakarum are gone, and the Order of Malthale now rises. Praise Malthale, and your souls may yet be saved. He spares only the faithful. Donate to the Order, and prove your conviction. Did you know? There were once two moons. Lyria is the one that is no more. <laughs> I think it's time I told you the whole story of Zai and his master, the god of desire, Durgis. You've never told the whole story of anything in your entire life. It, it, well, no. Uh, but Durgis' jewel has appeared again, and the time for secrets is over. So you'll finally tell me if you're a god? <laughs> Have you been eating enough? I, I've noticed this about you. When things get difficult, you get very focused. Uh, maybe I'll cook for you. Uh, so, if it's all the same, we probably both be happier if I didn't. I found him in the streets. He seemed in a day, so I brought him here with me, but he's hardly said anything. He's nobility of some sort, but I don't recognize the seal on his ring. The flames! The flames? Well, he was covered in soot. Perhaps he escaped from a fire. He never says more than a word or two at a time. Duncraig is just death in horror. I thought I'd be safe here. But we've nowhere left to hide. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? West March originally grew from the efforts of the great general Rakis to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zakarum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. You've heard the legend of the tomb of Rakis, haven't you? Its location has never been found. Most scholars think it's underneath Westmarch, but I suspect it's somewhere outside the city. Ruckus was a clever man, after all. At long last, a hero comes to save us! That won't bring my wife back, though. Will it? We 
we stayed to fight, Robert and me. But he fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. Everyone runs. The question is, what will you do next time? Did you grab the jewelry, at least? Harold, those monsters were about to kill us. Well, I would rather be dead than poor. Best service in Westmarch. I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. The world's under attack and people are dying everywhere. It must be time for us to go on another adventure, right? Let us seek our fortunes together. I know that look. Something's bothering you. For too long have I lived with the knowledge that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? A man who did what he believed was right. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. It is good to see you again, though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. For a moment, I heard one of my sister's voices, but I could not make out the words. I used to think I heard my sister sobbing. It's only grief. You will move on. My sisters are gone now, and I am the last memory of a world long since forgotten. You don't even know what happened to your sisters. So they linger in your thoughts. It is good to fight with you again. You're always in the light. The Haradrim have returned at a strange time. Tyrael rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven and to protect mankind. After all, can't be everywhere at once. Evidently. Malthael, my brother. He was wisdom. Leader of our council. First among angels. And now, he has become this. How is that possible? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, well, an obsession with human souls. Either way, it's disturbing, and I will stop him. The dead deserve peace. That sliver is just a fragment of the Black Soul Stone. How can it help us? The sliver is still connected to the soul stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malthael is doing to the stone. And if we're lucky, even discover his plan. What was that death maiden trying to do in the cathedral exactly? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthael's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul crucibles. With two of them, Malthael has an endless supply of soldiers. Until I destroy them, then he will have none. The soul crucibles turn the dead into reapers? Sadly, yes. Even the death maidens. Their story is as tragic as Malthael's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. After years. 
years of my pleading, the Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malfiel. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the High Heavens. Owing to Malfiel's growing fascination with the humans, Tyrael has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. <laughs> March fills me with rage. I know. We have to keep on killing them until they're gone. Even then, the city will never recover. The world is safer now. betrays you. Uninvited. Die, peasants.
fell on sanctuary, but I did find humans. Far too many of them. They murder and cheat one another while allowing their brothers to starve. If their true power is ever released, we are all doomed. They have a choice between good and evil, and they overwhelmingly choose evil. Controlling the Soul Crucible. Not for long, though. There is no place for her in our world, so let us help her leave it. You can't do that. Would not be Thank wise. you. I knew you would arrive in time to save me. But how? I am Miriam Jazir, a seer of the Vetchen people. I foresaw our meeting, but I did not see this horror. I have come to help you. There is one crucible left, and if you destroy that, the maidens will not be able to create more. There is no time to waste. We must be on our way now. Disgusted by humanity during my time on Sanctuary. When at last I found Malfiel, I was not surprised to learn that he felt the same way. We will cleanse creation of the scourge that is humankind, and when we are finished, the tragic mistake of Anarius will be gone. We need to get to the survivors' enclave. Malfail's reapers are everywhere. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. <laughs> A monstrosity infests my family script, and there's no one to protect it. Guilt over Dia's family. How did you hear about her? I see the past as well as the future. You must not let it consume you. You have a lot to learn about me. No, I will not do that. You shouldn't be so dour. You have much to be joyful about. 
This is not a time for laughter. I have learned that in terrible situations it is better to laugh than to cry. Perhaps when you have lost as much as I, you will understand. You are such the artist when it comes to dispatching Death's minions. Don't mind me. I'll just be waiting over here. A wise decision. We won't allow any harm to come to you. That would not be wise. What was that? That would be Urzael. Urzael? Urzael is the angel who commands Maltheil's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. Very well. We should go back to the Enclave and see if Tyriel has made any progress with the Sliver. I am returning to town. There's no easy way to say this, but I have to leave, and I won't be returning. You really think I'll let you get away with that? I'm serious. My brother's imprisoned in Kingsport with no way to defend himself, and I must free him. You won't be able to get there if Westmarch is overrun. We have to save this city first. All right. I'll stay for as long as I can, but only because I know how much you need me. Could it be that the Prophet abandoned us? Why else would his magic fail to protect us while we slept? It didn't fail for you. But my sister died. Why them and not me? There's no meaning in tragedy, Irena. Some live, some die. It's a matter of chance. I cannot believe that. There was a reason, and I will find it. It is always wonderful to see you. Those who perish without embracing man. I have heard that the Grand Maester himself is in Westmarch. It is imperative that I find and speak to him. I will tell him of the sins his order is committing. If he's the leader of the order, he probably knows. No, you are wrong. My first memories of being a Templar are of him comforting me, welcoming me to the Brotherhood. I looked into his eyes. He is a good man, I tell you. Today is the day I find out how deep the Order's corruption runs. It's settled then. Go and confront your brothers in arms. I will do it, even if it means going against my entire Order. I could use a good friend by my side. I will be right here by your side. This is one of our strongholds. I will have my answers soon. I just hope you're ready for them. No, I will not do that. You've done us all proud. Everyone says you helped slay Asmodan and Belial. They're calling you the greatest of all the Templar. It's good to see you as well, brother. But I come with troubling news about the Order. I must speak with the Grand Maester. 
You're in luck. He's here. Standing orders are to send you to him upon your return. Take this, the Grand Maester's new proclamation. This proclamation from the Maester, it's jamming. He admits his own guilt. How could I have not seen this? I can't do that. The day of reckoning is at hand. We will rise from the ashes of Westmarch and lead mankind into the light. We shall have recruits by the thousands. Every citizen will be another Templar added to the cause. Once cleansed by the Inquisitors, they will become an unstoppable force. We know you had nothing to do with John Dar's corruption, Cormac. You're a hero. Time has finally come, and we owe it all to you. Bring me that whip. It is time to purify this initiate. to your fellow Templar. We bless them with the truth, as we did for you, Cormac. But if the greatest of all Templar wishes them freed, it shall be so. We've been ordered to take you to the Grand Maester as soon as possible. Follow me. Cormac, the shining example of a true Templar. We have much to talk about. Yes, we do, Grand Maester. You have betrayed us all, starting with the torment of our initiation. It was brutal but necessary. I did the hard things no one else would for the ascension of humanity. I carry the weight of my actions with me always. Are you ready to make a similar sacrifice, Cormac? Will you stand with me and become Meister in due time? I need you. But... I... No! Your power has driven you to madness if you think I would help you rule over mankind! This saddens me greatly, my son. I am sorry. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Man is a flawed being. Time and again we have seen good men give in to temptation. Though it is painful, I have found only one answer. We must cleanse the minds of our recruits, so they will never fall prey to the corruption of the demons, or the blind self-righteousness of the angels. That would not be wise. Do that. You brought this on yourself, Cormac. That would not be wise. I dedicated my life to a lie. Everything I thought I knew, it was all in the service of a madman. I swear that every Templar I meet will be freed from the lies of the Order. And if they refuse, I will be forced to convince them. The Grand Maester.
Meister. Behind the Order's corruption. Deep down, I think I always knew. Perhaps that's why I never felt worthy of the Order. As if I was not a true Templar. I imagine that's how they kept you from asking questions. A vile tactic. But now, you are free to leave the Order behind. What shall you do? I believe in you and your quest. This world must be saved, regardless of the corruption of the Templar. Let us seek honor together, my friend. When I left my sister Lysa, I took her magic focus as a reminder. I scried it today to see if it held any clues, and I found strong traces of the demonic magic that killed her. It reminded me of the Fischerai's magic from before we served the Prophet. Those mages have been dead for centuries now. No one remembers them. When I cast the magic upon her focus, I heard her voice again. And this time, I understood. She said one word. Irena. It's time for me to go. My brother will die in the Kingsport dungeons if I don't act now. A Kingsport prisoner, you say? Hmm. Those poor devils were all transported to our cells in Westmarch last week. But we haven't heard from the garrison since the attack started. Edlin. I have to find him. Will you help me, my friend? Right then, this is where they're holding Edlin. Let me do the talking. <laughs> Looking for your brother, Linden? Wait, this isn't right. Damn it all! Thieves Guild infiltrated the entire dungeon? taste. He's... I'm so sorry, Linden. I never should have joined the guild. He told me that I wouldn't listen. It isn't your fault. Your brother was killed before we came to Westmarch. That dagger looks very familiar. Take it with you. I know it's difficult, but we must go. Please don't blame yourself for this. Nothing good will come of it. What do you want me to say? That I wish he'd never known me? That I wish he'd had a brother who didn't fail him? That you carry the weight of grief. Grief? You left your grief behind when you became a noble hero. You don't understand the rest of us anymore. They will run when they see us. What shall we fight today? Is this truly the work of angels? I don't understand. How could they? 
The angels pledged not to interfere with humanity. This one broke his word, and he will regret it. Good. My mother warned me about the poor. I want my wealth, but they don't want to work for it. I created an army of death creatures. Well, when I'm king, I'll just show them. Oh, I can't believe it. My best hammer's gone missing. It couldn't have walked off on its own now, could it, lad? One of the men needed a hammer. He promised to return it. Fool boy. I'll never see it again. I'm sorry, Hadrig. Get out of my seat. I don't feel like talking right now. going to die are we tell me we're not going to die i don't want to lose my soul i was telling you about livia wasn't i uh, oh she was so beautiful that durgis was determined to make her his own oh yes he pursued her relentlessly showering her with gifts and attention until she succumbed and agreed to become his wife. But Durge's jealousy was so great, he hid Lyria high in the heavens, far away from the reach of men and gods. Only a fool would let his desires run that deep. Mm, yes, that was Durge's. Desire was his very nature. You are a quiet sort, Sarima. Mm. Sneak back home and fetch some of our savings. But the streets are crawling with those horrid creatures. That's precisely why you must go, dearest. Nobody notices you. And now I hear those reapers are taking people's souls? This is madness! Why fight so hard? Thousands are dead. What do another dozen matter? If you hadn't come along when you did, I don't know what might have happened. It was the least I could do. Anyone would have done the same. But you didn't have to help. You could have run right by. After Coralan's death, the crown passed to Justinian I through a somewhat convoluted interpretation of Zacharum's scripture. Thus began the Justinian dynasty. Seen as usurpers by many, the Justinians suffered nearly constant challenges to their rule. Finally, during the reign of Justinian III, a full-fledged insurrection broke out in the outlying region of Carthorus. Trust in Ekarat. Can I ask you about Deckard Cain? He was a great ally, a guide. He never wavered. Had he lived, things might be very different. Could one man make such a difference? Now is not the time to speak of this. We have a city to save. I am sorry. Tyriel told me of your actions. You killed Diablo himself. I battle the darkness in all of its forms. That particular one was... difficult. I don't know that the world will ever understand what it took to face such pure evil. Nor should they. That is the work of demon hunters, my friend. My father was the commander of the Knights of Westmarch. He assumed I would become a soldier, just like him. But your heart was not in it. I grew up on stories of the fearless Horadrim, Tal Rasha, Jared Kane. That was what I wanted to be. My father thought it was all myth. Wasn't he surprised when I actually became one of them? I'm surprised that the swords of Westmarch were able to last this long. You are from here. Aren't you? I was. 
You have returned to us in our darkest hour. Many good soldiers have sacrificed themselves. And yet, you still live. I know you will be a great help to us, Hunter. Why haven't you received reinforcements from Bramwell and Kingsport? They are loyal to the Crown. Have you not heard? Cities everywhere are under attack. No place is safe. Yes, Malveil strikes all across Sanctuary. I did not know. That is... disturbing. Look, the sliver is changing. Malthael is altering the Black Soul Stone, isn't he? Exactly. He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? I need to know what he's going to do next. That's the only way to stop him. Urzael has done this to finish collecting the souls of Westmarch. Where can I find him? All I know is that he is in a tower somewhere in the Westmarch Heights, and that he will be quite rude to you. Before you can you, you should stop by my cart. I can enchant some items for you. I wish Teriel had destroyed the Black Soul Stone instead of hiding it. The Black Soul Stone was made by a man, unlike previous Soul Stones. We had no idea what would happen if we destroyed it. It seemed a better idea to hide it away forever. We had no way of knowing that Malthael was watching us the entire time. How could we? You couldn't. What will we do when we get it back? I don't know. But it's better for us to have the stone than Malthael. If we make it that far, we'll worry about what to do next. Do you know anything about Urzael? He is Malthael's lieutenant. Much the same way that Iswal was mine. He does his master's bidding without question. It's a relief that Malthael spared you in the tomb of Rakis. But I wonder why. I may be mortal, but I am not Nephilim. I have no demon blood in me. And therefore Malthael does not see me as his enemy. And I am? I have dedicated my life to killing demons. That is of no consequence. You are half-demon to him and therefore on the wrong side of the eternal conflict. <laughs> Some angels are no better than demons. You look unwell. I have felt pain before, but nothing like this. It is different being mortal. The pain wears on you. There are two kinds of pain I've found. One that heals, and one that does not. Why did Malveil take the Black Soul Stone? I have been thinking on that since our encounter. But every scenario I envision simply doesn't make sense. Regardless of what he has become. There must be something. He would not act without a reason. Before they do this to the entire world. We will. Or we will die trying. <laughs>
do that. My master has begun his work on the stone. Nothing that you do matters. Soon, demons spawn like you will be gone forever. You will die for what you've done. The demon spawn shall perish in flames. I am returning to town. You killed the angel who was responsible for this horror. I did, but he served a greater master. When that one is gone, you will be safe. I believe you. What else can I tell you? I had a vision of death blanketing our world. So I left my people, my family, to come help you. That must have been quite the burden. Nonsense. We veteran often receive visions telling us when it is time to find a new family. I've had many in my life. I still love and miss each and every one of them. Except for Jonah. I never really liked that one. I wonder if we could sell wigs made from your hair. That is enough, Harold! If we survive this nightmare, I am leaving for my parents' estate in Bramwell. That's a grand idea, dearest. Your father has more than enough money to... Follow me, and I will tie you naked to a tree for the crows. Maybe then you'll finally think of something other than money. <laughs> Quite unlike me to fall apart like that. I can't imagine what came over me. Let's keep this between ourselves, eh? Since I was the greatest thief, and he wanted Lyria, he waited patiently for a night when Lyria's path hid her behind the silver moon. For when the sun set, Durgis had to leave Lyria's side, you see, for desire ruled the night. He could only watch from below as she drifted across the ocean of stars. Then Zai climbed, silent as a whisper, into Lyria's palace in the heavens. Had he fallen in love with her? No, but stealing from Durgis would make Zai a legend. Now that Urzael is dead, I'm going to Bramwell to find my son. Last I heard, Bramwell was still under attack. I don't care. Thanks to you, I can finally bury my wife in peace. You really must stop thanking me. It was nothing. A dozen people ran by me and did nothing. You're a hero. Just in the right place at the right time, I suppose. This disaster will make for great reading someday. 
Provided that anyone survives to chronicle it. Urzael has fallen. The Reapers will not be able to hold the city without him. You have saved Westmarch, my friend. But we still don't know why Malthael took the stone. He's getting stronger every moment, and our time is running out. That strange woman you brought here believes she can help. She insisted on speaking with you immediately. Chelsea, I know how to find Malthael, but you will not like what I have to tell you. What a surprise. There is only one person who knows how to find Malthael. She waits for you in the blood marsh. And you know her well, Adria. At last. Adria is not as you remember her. She is channeling blood magic to prepare herself to retrieve the Black Soul Stone. What does that mean? Some things cannot be explained. You must see them for yourself. Why do I talk to you again? You have no sense of adventure. You are a most unusual traveler, Miriam. Oh, I could tell you stories. We were frequently set upon by bandits. Ah, it became quite tiresome, really. One time, I had had enough. I know this is hard to believe, but when I was younger, I was even more vivacious than I am now. So I seduced their leader, convinced him to free us by giving him details on how he could rob a local magistrate. He'd heard the Vetchen could predict the future, so he believed me. They were caught and hung three days later. I must have forgotten to tell him that part of my vision. You're not going anywhere without me. Why is that? Someone has to make sure you don't kill Adria before you find out where Malthael is. Come if you like, but Adria is still going to die. Urzael and his Reapers are dead. The people of Westmarch have been avenged, and now they can begin to rebuild. But Adria still lives. Lorath and I will journey to the Blood Marsh to find her. She can locate Malthael. And once we know where he is, she must die. I know what Adria did to Leah. I want her to pay just as much as you. But we have to get the information first. We hid the Black Soul Stone in the deepest part of the Nephilim ruins near her. We thought it would be safe. But Malthiel found it all the same. This is the entrance to the tomb, but someone's collapsed it. It looks like we'll have to find another way into the ruins. What was that? That would not be wise. one entrance to the city. There are guide stones littered across the blood marsh that will lead us to the main one. The guide stones are useless to most, but will reveal the correct path to a Nephilim such as yourself. No escape this time, Adria. Remember to get the information we need before you... Fine. 
Nothing happens when I approach it. Let me take a look. No, I will not there do that. There are four entrances to the Nephilim city, each one etched with a sigil. Only the correct one marks the true entrance to the tomb, however. When you activate these stones, one of the wrong sigils disappears. My father could never understand. He was born into privilege and wealth, and he spent every moment of his life trying to protect it. I was his flesh and blood, but he cared more about the names in books and the faces of the paintings on the walls than his living daughter. the right passage. Bryson had good intentions. He's a fool, and fools end up dead around here. So that's why you wish him gone. What are you talking about? How many loved ones have you lost? Your father, your wife, even your apprentice. You keep that nonsense to yourself, or I might forget how much I owe you. I heard Lysa's voice again, and I could make out more of what she was saying. She is calling out for me, but it sounds as though the voice is speaking to me from far away, from beyond our world. You found her body, though. She is dead. I thought so, too. But now, I am certain that she is out there, that she needs me. Oh, I've been waiting for this. May the battles never end. I was separated from the other soldiers and surrounded by the dead when I saw him. I gazed into the face of death himself. I couldn't move. I just stared as he passed through me. His touch was like ice, so cold. But something in me changed. Something I cannot understand. I can't stay here. I need to move on. You can't leave me. Where will I go? 
You should be safe here. Please, just stay a few more days. How fortunate I am to have met the savior of Westmarch. You simply must let me ask you some questions when your work is done. Hitler's newly established rule over Westmarch did nothing to quell the civil war, which continued until she was driven mad and eventually killed by the plague. Cornelius, grandson of Justinian III and slave to the Zacharum faith, used this opening to crush the rebels once and for all and become the new king. I'm telling you, Livia was so lonely and Zai was so alive and full of life. They shared one perfect night and after she emerged blushing. Hmm. Dirges raced to her side, but Zai was gone. The ruby around Livia's neck was the only sign that he had ever been there. That was dishonorable. I suppose he didn't feel any regret. No, not then. He felt pride. Rakis conquered all of Conduras before founding Westmarch. Repelling this invasion would be child's play for him. Jose was slain. Westmarch is saved. And yet these thoughts weigh constantly upon me. I know the feeling. We have given Westmarch peace, but nothing will replace what its people have lost. Wise words, my friend. Still, we must keep going forward. Your persistence has taught me that much. Your angelic brethren haven't come to help us. What a surprise. There is confusion and dissension in the high heavens. You must remember, Malfeyer was our leader once. But you're on the Angiris Council. Shouldn't that give you power over the armies of heaven? Imperius commands the host, and he will not unleash them on a fellow angel, especially a former member of the Angiris Council. Of course. He prefers to see humans die rather than angels. Strong, but I will not stand down. This is the one.
betrays you. Hatred is too low. Wait here, Lorath. You can join me when I'm finished. You're going to kill her, aren't you? I will do what is right. We are all counting on you. that. See where you've been hiding, Malthiel. Adria. The angels will never suffer us to live. They cannot accept the fact that we may choose our own path. At least demons are not so rigid in their beliefs.
Adria conjured an image of Pandemonium before she died. She was searching for Maltheo, so he must be there. I need to go back. was possessed by an all-consuming rage. As Zai had stolen what was most valuable to Durgis, he would take from Zai all that he held dear. Durgis murdered him? Durgis took something much more dear than Zai's life. His joy. He killed everyone Zai had loved and held dear. Oh, then he slew Diria. Her light went out from the heavens. The seas wept, and the waves of their tears crashed upon the shore. See? Aren't you happy I didn't tell you beforehand that Adria would turn into a hideous monster? No, that was rude. You're so much more effective when you're stewing in blind rage, thirsting for revenge. It's your strong point. Petty details would have just served to distract you. some good news good news i mentioned what you did to some guards i met you could get a commendation or something when this is all over oh that's uh, fantastic malthael is in pandemonium no doubt he has gone to the fortress malthael can hold out there until the end of time he is forcing us to come to him we won't disappoint him, but he's using his advantage well. Every second his power grows. The only way to Pandemonium is through the high heavens. Let us leave at once. What is this? Destroy the gate! The Nebulon is here. my brother. I fought a thousand battles by his side, and I care not that he seeks to destroy you and your kind. But my brother has grown sick, and he must be put down for his own sake. Yet I have not the heart to do this. And so it falls to you. Come, Nephilim, to Pandemonium. Malthael tried to keep me from entering Pandemonium. He is not ready to face me yet. 
Now, I must fight through these ancient battlefields, where angels and demons have battled for eons. At the heart of this realm lies the Pandemonium Fortress, and the Angel of Death. Why would Imperius want you to follow him? I don't like this. There is a siege camp not far from here. Meet me there, and I will show you what must be done. to do better if you are to stand in the chance. See the battering ram below. That is the only way you can breach the fortress gates. But it is useless without the siege runes that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. You will find them on the battlefield below, imprisoned along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the runes, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Even if you release Malfael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. Your gratitude isn't needed, Imperius. I need to go back. <laughs> 